Did you know that studies actually show that many men believe that increasing the length of their penis will make them better lovers even though more than likely their penis length is actually within the normal range and majority of times their partners are already satisfied with it. If you've ever been tempted by all sorts of options to increase penis length, this video is for you. So before you start to think, oh no, it's just not big enough, it's important to know that the average size of a normal, well-functional erect penis is actually 5.16 inches long, which works out to be 13.12 centimeters. It is also normal for the length to deviate by plus or minus 2 inches so it can be 3.16 inches or 7.16 inches. That's still more than okay. A penis is considered small only if it measures less than 3 inches when erect. This is a condition called micropenis. Reports suggest that only about 55% of men are satisfied with their penis size and as a result, some seek potentially dangerous surgical solutions to a problem that most times is only in their head. And this obsessive dissatisfaction with penis length actually has a name and that's small penis anxiety. These men are worried about their penis even though it is quite normal and fine. It is now important to stress that most advertised penis enlargement methods don't work and some can cause permanent damage to your penis. There's only a few options that actually have results but this is not without disadvantages so let's discuss a few of the different methods, shall we? Methods of penis enlargement can be divided into surgical and non-surgical. A few of the non-surgical methods include exercises, pills and lotions, penile extenders, penile injectables, and vacuum erection devices. Now let's discuss a bit of each. Exercises, sometimes referred to as jelkin, these exercises consist of a hand-over-hand -hand motion to push blood from the base to the head of the penis. Now this technique may appear to be safer than other methods, but there is actually no scientific proof that it works and it can lead to scar formation, pain and disfigurement. Pills and lotions. These usually contain vitamins, minerals, herbs or hormones that manufacturers claim enlarge the penis. None of these products have been proved to work and some may be harmful. Penile extenders. These are penile traction devices that stretch the tissues in the penis to increase its length. Some research indicates that these devices work. However, they require persistence and dedication to produce noticeable results. Penile injectables. These are generally medications that aid with erectile dysfunction but do not actually increase the length of an already erect penis. Vacuum erection devices. A vacuum pump comprises a tube that fits over the penis. The user pumps air out of the tube which causes blood to flow to the penis. Increased blood flow leads to swelling and an erection. People typically use vacuum pumps to treat erectile dysfunction. Some people state that regular use of a vacuum pump will increase penis size, but research does not support this claim. Now on to the surgical approaches. These include suspensory ligament incision, tissue grafting, and penis implants. It is important to note that these surgeries are very risky and usually have mixed results and is not recommended for cosmetic use. Surgery can result in complications such as infection, scarring, and loss of sensation or function. Now for a bit of info about each surgery option. 
suspensor ligament incision. This is the most widely used surgical procedure to lengthen the penis, and it involves cutting the suspensor ligament that attaches the penis to the pubic bone. When this ligament is cut, the penis appears longer because more of it hangs down, but it doesn't change the actual length of the penis. Cutting the suspensor ligament can cause an erect penis to be unstable. This lack of support during an erection could result in injury to the penis during sexual activity. Also, the ligament can grow back together, causing a shortened appearance of the penis. Tissue grafting. Another technique for increasing width or length is tissue grafting. This involves taking a piece of skin and fat layer, known as a graft, from another place on the body. This graft is sewn onto the shaft of the penis. Sometimes other graft material is used. None of these procedures has been proved to be safe or to work. The procedures may cause infection and scarring that can deform the penis's shape. They can also affect your ability to get an erection. Penis implants use a similar technique to tissue grafting and is also not recommended. In conclusion guys, the best thing to do if you ever feel dissatisfied with your penile length is to not pursue ways of lengthening but instead to communicate with your partner and talk to your healthcare provider or counselor. Feeling unhappy about the size of your penis happens because we are human and we most times feel the need to compare and this can lead to insecurities. But there are mental health specialists or even your family healthcare provider that is ready and willing to help. I hope this video was of great use to you. Remember that you are awesome. Stay blessed and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Mm-hmm.